In a follow-up to our previous video on the topic, we will discuss one of the many use cases of Robonomics and how this protocol could impact how we live our daily lives. Robonomics is a futuristic Internet of Things focused blockchain which has been developed by a team of robotics engineers and they are working with the ITMO University in St. Petersburg. In one of our previous videos, we showed you how you can connect your very own sensor to the Robonomics Global Decentralized Sensor Network. However, one thing to take note is that Robonomics will allow practically any IoT-enabled device to connect to their network, something which will become more relevant as we continue. Robonomics is hoping to secure a parachain slot on Kusama and later Polkadot. These Layer 0 protocols allow the Layer 1s, such as Robonomics, that build on top of them to utilize the shared security provided by Polkadot or Kusama. This allows the specialized layer one blockchains, such as Robonomics, to focus more on their specialized niche, as the security is provided by the layer zero. We made an overview video on parachains on the channel previously, and check that out if this all sounds interesting or new to you. A key component of the Polkadot and Kusama ecosystems is a mechanism known as XCMP, cross-chain message passing. In short, XCMP is a method that allows parachains and parathreads to interact with each other and even transfer tokens between the different specialized blockchains. The Verbonomics development team have created a solution based on Polkadot's architecture that allows any parachain to access IoT devices. All parachains have to do is add a piece of code, the Robobank branch, to their runtime, plain and simple. But what does this mean for the average user? Well, let's go through a few examples. Akala, the decentralized finance platform, has a partnership with the US fintech company Current. This partnership will allow over 3 million of Current's customers the ability to access DeFi instruments provided by Akala. If the Akala development team implement the Robobank branch to their runtime, it could allow current bank card holders the ability to use ATMs and payment terminals to interact directly with Akala's DeFi instruments. Another use for Robobank is that, in the future, autonomous self-driving cars could connect to substrate-based smart contract protocols such as Moonbeam and Plasm, and in conjunction with Robobank, this would allow the IoT device, in this case the car, to accept the payment for the service dictated by the smart contract. And the great thing for us, the users, is that we will not have to pay any commissions outside of the native parachain token, which increases the ease of use drastically. This also has huge implications for smart cities, where multiple IoT devices need to store data and interact with each other in order to improve the daily lives of citizens. Information gained from that data are then used to manage assets, resources and services efficiently, and in return, that data is used to improve operations across the city. This data can include things like data collected from citizens, devices, buildings and assets that is then processed and analysed to monitor and manage traffic and transportation systems, power plants, utilities, water supply networks, waste management, crime detection, information systems, schools and libraries, hospitals and other community services. So, to summarise, Robobank and other services provided by Robonomics will help to bridge the gap between our real-world IoT devices and the data security of the blockchain. Our lives are becoming more connected every year and the use of IoT devices such as Amazon's Alexa, smart light bulbs and self-driving cars is ever increasing. As of time of recording, Robonomics is currently bidding to win a parachain slot on Kusama and you can show your support for the project by helping them out in the crowd loan. If you would like to learn more about Robonomics, I would suggest that you head on over to the official Robonomics Telegram channel. It will be linked in the description below. 
If you liked this video, then please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.